All right, guys, uh, quick update on the subframe. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I did uh, and explain a little bit so people who wanna go this route instead of actually buying a CRV or an element subframe can do this because all of this material in total cost me like $13. <clears throat> Most of this is made out of some uh, channel. I think this is a uh, one and a half by three quarters of an inch, uh, eighth inch wall. Now that's pretty equivalent to what the stock tube was. A um, little bit of uh, filler material, which I'll show you on the bottom, and then some other plate, which I used to kind of box all this stuff in. Um, some of these welds kind of turned out like shit over here, especially in this corner. Got a lot of grease in between the uh, the sandwiched steel and the subframe and just started contaminating that weld. But it's fine because most of that is going to be coming from over here and all that looks really good. So what I did, obviously I had to cut off that factory tube. It was in the way. It was right where the transfer case is going to go. The transfer case basically sits like right here. Um, and uh, so I cut that off cut the stock mount plate off of that so that way I know that all the holes line up the way it needs to be. I did have to flip it 180 degrees. Uh, did the same thing on the mount in the car and I'll put this in the car and show everybody what it looks like in there too. Um, so what I did though, got that plate, got this piece of channel. It runs across. If you actually look underneath this, um, there's a little bit of a tab, I guess you could say, or a little flat section on both sides of the subframe. I uh, basically set this inside those, which puts the drive shaft right about here, just, just above. Everything's centered and shifted off to where it needs to be. Um, and then once I tacked all that in the car, I dropped the subframe back out, fully welded this piece of channel in, and then kind of came back in and started gusseting everything with some plate steel to kind of box it all in and make it a lot stronger. So just kind of going down. This is a, a one and a half inch spacer. It's the exact same material that I have here. Just cut out a little small section to lift that up. If I wouldn't have done that, the drive shaft would have, uh, or actually the transfer case, the, the output for the drive shaft would have hit this. Um, so that's it there. Again, straight across, boxed, 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 boxed. Like everything's gonna be really, really stout. The majority of the torque that you're going to have during uh, acceleration is going to be getting pushed down right here. That's where I really try to focus a lot of my energy in and trying to make sure that all of this is tied in as well as possible. Um, so there's a plate that goes right across here that ties into a plate across the side. And it's all fully welded, gusseted there, gusseted there, gusseted on the bottom. So it, it should turn out really, really well. Let me get this flipped over and I'll uh, show you what I did on the other side. So now we're looking at the bottom side. This is obviously now the driver's side. That's where your mount's at. I said boxed all that in, ran it all the way over, fully welded into this seam. I did also put this, this piece of uh, half inch by quarter all the way down the middle to kind of stiffen up, add another layer of vertical um, resistance when it tries to get pushed down by the engine. Hopefully make that a lot stronger. Like I said, over here on the, would be the passenger side. Again, boxed all of this in to keep this from wanting to twist um, in any way, shape, or form. Um, I also made sure I positioned this in a way that I can get access to all three of these bolts without having to do a whole lot of work. The only thing that will end up being an obstruction now, this is just a piece of tubing I threw in here to represent the sway bar. But I will have to probably drop the sway bar down whenever I go to pull the transmission or the motor uh, or get that last bolt out of the subframe because it's going to kind of be, be in the way, uh, be blocked by that. But yeah, other than that, all three of those are accessible with your standard sockets and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, 13 bucks uh, and about three hours in the garage, a little bit of uh, cutting, grinding, welding painting and uh yeah so i'll get it put up in the car and uh show what it looks like in the car all right so now we're under the car you can see everything's cinched up all the way subframe there are all the bolts on that mount 
One thing you might notice is that, that this bar right here does angle downward. Um, that's just really because of the position of where that uh, flat spot is in the subframe. But it doesn't matter. I compensated for it a little bit whenever I did the mount, so it'll all be good. But yeah, you've got about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or so um, to clear the uh, transfer case output shaft. And uh, there's everything here. I did shoot these with paint just so hopefully slow down some rust on the inside of the the subframe. But yeah, this transmission's just a dummy case. I've got the differential over at a friend's place. He's a, a machinist, um, machining out the, the bolts on the front wheel drive diff to go to all wheel drive. Ordered some tubing to bring this out just past the uh, the transfer case. But there is a ton of room compared to the stock setup to uh, get some stuff done through here with the exhaust. I'm still going to use my boost activated dump, so I'll just end up dumping it right here, a little kickback uh, here, and then I'll do my two and a quarter inch back. I'll try to sneak it past here, and I'll, I'll try to, this is a Pexy World Sport 2, I'll try to tuck this thing over a little bit, cut this flange off, put a V-band, uh, probably cut a little bit out of this to move it all back to, to kind of get everything a little bit uh, more over. If that doesn't work, I can probably, I don't know, actually with the, the sway bar coming through here, I was going to say maybe I can come through here and get her to this side and just run it through there. But I don't know, we'll play with that some more. I do need to order a uh, CRV sway bar just because the, uh, the EP3 one, I guess it would probably work. It'd come up and around all this, but... It's just another thing that's a pain in the ass anytime you want to drop the subframe uh, to have to take that that sway bar off and try to sneak it all through instead of just being able to drop everything straight down as as one piece so um yeah all in all pretty happy with that especially for the price good uh good chance to practice using the tig welder and uh try to get some stuff done with that it ended up screwing up one of my my uh gas lenses with all the the contamination and splatter that I was getting, especially over on this side with some some grease and oil and whatnot that was in between the, the sandwich piece of the subframe. So anyway, hopefully this is, uh, gives somebody uh, some ideas um, on how they need to modify their stuff. If that's what stuff they want to do. Instead of going to the junkyard, crawling around some gravel, and you know spending a hundred bucks, you can spend thirteen dollars and trip to the metal supply store and a few hours in the garage and get some practice and make something that's that's uh, what you want it to be. Anyway, as I get some progress going on, probably when I get that diff back, I'll make a video about that. And uh, yep, talk to you guys later.